GoPro just announced on Instagram and on YouTube their new GoPro, and this one is the Hero 11. They're actually not just announcing one camera, they're announcing two. So this lineup is gonna be, it's starting to look a little bit different with uh, all the new cameras that they're introducing. I would say the special one in this lineup is the new Hero 11 Mini, or I guess the full name is GoPro Hero Black 11 Mini, or whatever that order is. The names are getting so long now. <laughs> Anyway, so the other camera is basically the normal GoPro that we're used to, so it looks very similar to the Hero 10. The main difference being all of the updated features, which I have a list of. So I want to start off by saying that I'm recording this before the release video, hoping to uh, get some of the speculation clarified once that video drops. So for now, this is what to get excited for, and I will confirm everything I've said in this video in a few days when the video uh, from GoPro officially comes out. So, all right, what actually makes these exciting, right? That's the question that we are probably all asking. So first, I want to kind of put the mini to the side for a second and just go over all the features that we are expecting to see right now. And due to a couple leaks, we hopefully know what we're getting um, since they're printed on the box, but also it could be fabricated. So basically the upgrades are gonna include, the, the GoPro is gonna come with the Enduro battery, which is basically just their larger capacity battery, which will hopefully improve a lot on the, the uh, battery life. They also have changed the dimensions of the sensor. It looks like it's a little bit bigger, particularly particularly wider. So eight by seven is definitely wider than four by three, which was the old sensor for like the Hero 10. Um, and doing this, I believe is how they're getting this new thing called Hyperview, which is I'm assuming just gonna be essentially a wider field of view than Superview was. It's, I guess hyper is bigger than super, right? Um, and I would believe that this means that you can now record in 16 by 10. That is completely speculation, but if they're doing a wider sensor, I feel like it works out to that. Uh, I'd have to do the math to actually know that, but <laughs> math is uh, a lot of effort, I guess, right? Um, yeah, so other than that, they're also doing 10-bit color, which is absolutely amazing because for a tiny freaking GoPro, they're putting all this data onto the SD card, and I mean, they're gonna have to start sending out like 64, 128 gigabyte SD cards for everybody to use because they're gonna f start filling up so fast with 5.3K 60 FPS 10 bit video, which by the way, that is now possible. So yeah, the 10 bit color thing gets me pretty excited because previously in the past, if there was like a low light situation, so this combined with the new sensor is gonna be huge uh, for FPV guys that are trying to, well, I guess anybody who's trying to record stuff at like after sunset or you know, when it starts to get pretty dark out. There's been quite a few times where I've filmed a sunset with my drone and uh, maybe slightly underexposed it and then you go to push the colors around in post and it just completely falls apart and looks terrible. So this is really exciting for me. I need to start saving. <laughs> so yeah, going back to the recording options, uh, we have 5.3K 60, 4K 120, and 2.7K 240. So, I mean, I guess fairly self-explanatory. It's, it's awesome to have all these different options at 4K now. Cause I mean, 5K is great. It's maybe a little bit overkill unless you're gonna be doing a lot of like punching in and stuff. But being able to do 4K at 120 frames is Mm, so good. And yeah, I mean, another, another feature they have doesn't really affect me too much, but it would be really cool to have is basically just their new time warp with the, uh, the night effect presets. So if you're someone who wants to just like set your GoPro outside and record the night sky, this is gonna be something pretty pretty cool. And also, this is a leaked picture again, so I, I, I wanna reiterate that like, I don't have this, this isn't, you know, I'm taking this from, uh, from this guy's video. I'll put the link to his video in the description because I just want to make sure everyone's getting credit for everything that's getting passed around, even though this is basically all hearsay and I, who knows where, I don't, I don't really even know where this is coming from. So I'm just making a video to discuss what we see. Um, but anyway, there's these pretty much gummy twist ties. If you went to like Home Depot or something, you can buy these. Um, but it looks like they're trying to get a, a more dynamic way and like on the fly way of just mounting your GoPro to things. So yeah, they're, they're pretty strong. They work pretty good. I've used similar things before, not for my GoPro, but for other things. And yeah, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is like you could wrap this around your handlebars on your bike and they're going to be super sturdy and not fall off. And you don't really have to worry about trying to get like a handlebar mount in some way. You know, you could put it like on your bike frame, but there's a ton of things other than just bikes. <laughs> 
that will work with this. Um, so yeah, now we can talk about the GoPro Mini. I just wanted to get like most of the specs out of the way. So the exciting thing about the GoPro Mini is that it's rumored and should be, uh, well, it'll be confirmed tomorrow, but it's supposed to be the same camera as the full size, just smaller, lighter, doesn't have the two screens, and that's it. I'm assuming there's gonna be a slight price difference. The Mini's probably a little bit cheaper, but I don't know that, and yeah. That is very, very exciting because first of all, for FPV, a lighter camera is always better. It has the same specs, so you're not compromising. And if it's cheaper, for a lot of people, this is gonna be a way better option depending on what you're trying to use it for. And another great thing is that you don't have to worry about like cracking the two screens. You know, I, I know they're useful, but like, if you're someone who doesn't really need them, you know, it's kind of a set the settings and forget, or you don't wanna have to worry about getting screen protectors or breaking those. Um, this might be a slightly more rugged version of the other GoPro in the lineup just due to the fact that there's like less glass which is typically what breaks first. And I don't know what the price is going to be, I'm assuming it's going to be about the same as the Hero 10 or maybe they'll like tack on another 50 bucks or something but it's probably going to be in the same price range as what I would expect but again I, I, actually, I don't have any idea. So yeah, anyway, that pretty much concludes what I found uh, so far, just doing some research myself. I just wanted to compile everything for you guys in one video, and um, I'll make another one as soon as the actual reveal comes out and confirm or deny some of these things. Um, and hopefully uh, what we see is accurate, but I, like I said, I'll just confirm that and make sure that there's no uh, rumors up in the air anymore and we know exactly what we're getting. And uh, yeah, so if you're somebody who is new to the GoPro realm but you still want to get into it and uh, you need help setting up your camera, make sure to go watch this video because in that video I explain all the settings that I use to make my camera look the best and uh, go into a little bit of the details on it as well. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, uh, hopefully you did, you know, you know what to do, all the YouTube stuff. Let me know what you thought, especially about what you think about these leaks and the rumors, and if you're getting pretty excited for the GoPro 11, or if maybe you're not excited for it, we'll see. So anyway, let's start a discussion on it, and hopefully we can get uh, the GoPro 11 in the hands of some people and pretty soon. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.